this is Carol from Snug Food and today I'd like to share with you how to make a lazy cheese basket. So today the cheese that I'm going to use is uh, a mixture of Colby and cheddar. All right? uh, but basically you can use cheddar, only cheddar if you want. All right? This is the shredded, pre-shredded cheese. So first you're going to heat up your non-stick pan uh, or cast iron pan and uh, I usually start with a small fire first okay, so once the pan is hot depending on the size that you want of the basket okay. Got the cheese The thickness and the diameter of the, the basket depends on what you plan to put in it. So if you're going to have a salad uh, for a main course, then probably you use a flat non-stick pan where you're able to get a bigger size basket. But if you're going to make a small miniature one, like the one I have here, okay, like an appetizer, so this is a small miniature one that I've made. It's about the size of a cup or a small bowl. Okay. So first, you're going to melt the cheese and then you'll slowly increase the fire. And you'll start see, seeing that the, the oil from the cheese will ooze out. So earlier today, I made uh, two baskets, cheese baskets, and uh, this was the amount of oil that I got. That's quite a bit. So if you're on healthy diet, or uh, if you want to save your calories, but uh, you still want to enjoy the taste of good cheese, this is how you can do it. Okay, this is about a three, about nearly half a bowl oil okay. you see the oil is starting to come out so when you're making your cheese basket You don't want the fire to be too big because if the basket gets too golden, it will become hard and you won't be able to mold it. Okay? Okay, so this is roughly the color that you want. You move your basket, it's hot. Okay. And shape it as you want. So when it's still soft like this, you can shake it and then once it, uh, it cools down, it will harden. But let's say for example, if your heat is too high and the cheese becomes too uh, golden, by the time you want to mold it, it, it won't be able to do that, it will break. Okay. So there you go, this is our cheese basket that we've made. I'm going to put it on a plate now. So we're going to put some baby lettuce, uh, sorry, baby spinach. And then some cucumber. Followed by some sliced onions. green pepper chicken you can put scallop or prawns whichever one that you want know. 
some chopped tomatoes. version of uh, cheese basket guilt free okay hope you enjoy it and do comment and share